Well, hello and welcome to Jimmy Total Notary channel. I decided to review my dirty boots. Well, after um, like a while, I have been needing new winter shoes, so I bought them like a few months ago. Um, and uh, or I think I don't even remember. I think it's like one or two months ago, but uh, somewhere around that. And uh, since I've been using normal winter shoes a long time and all of them have been uncomfortable, I decided to give it a go to try and just buy one of these barefoot winter shoes. And um, of course, since like winter shoes should probably be higher shoes so you don't have much contract to the ground, I was very sus I was suspecting that these shoes might be pretty cold. So what I did was, I, I normally use the size 40, uh, 44 or sometimes even 43, but I decided to buy a size 45 for these shoes. And by the way, this is the Vivo Barefoot Tracker FG, Tracker Firm Ground, it stands for. It says here, Vivo Barefoot Tracker Firm Ground. And these are dirty, by the way, because I've been using them, and I'm sorry I didn't clean them up for this review, and, you know, then you get the realistic approach. This is how your shoes will look after like using them and stuff. Um, and of course I, I bought this like cement gray or whatever they're called. In any case, let's go uh, on with it. I bought a, li a little bit bigger size just so that I will be able to fit really thick socks. And if I use this with really th thick socks, I kind of get the best um, best fit. So let's look into them. They have a thermal insole with some metal here, like tin foil basically, uh, into them so they kind of uh, block a lot of the heat leaking from your feet. Inside here you can also use them without these. And uh, to be honest, they're pretty comfortable without these. And of course, these are one size too big for me. And keep in mind that Vivo Barefoot's shoes are generally a little bit bigger than like general shoe sizes. So a 45 of these Vivo Barefoot shoes for me is really too big. So when I'm using this without the thermal insole and even without... Uh, um, even even without like socks because I usually use these with socks then it's not very like super good um, not not like perfect fit like if I tie them really really hard you can see like that mm -mm -mm. nice they're still a little bit too big but um, you know my toes kind of end here so they're a bit a bit way to go. You can see they're a little bit dirty, but thankful this kind of winter dirt color makes them look less dirty than they actually are. And if we look at the shoes down below here, we can see that the grip is pretty nice. Yes, we can see the grip here is pretty nice. We have a nice, um, we have a nice pattern here, and I haven't had any ice slipping problems so far. I haven't walked on like the worst ice surfaces but I think that on those surfaces no shoes can help you except metal dubs. Um, so I don't expect them to tear through that like super good. But um, like slippy leaves and uh, snow has so far been pretty good. Um, yeah, I, I, I've had no problems and in some instances I think they have been very like good on, on having a good grip on like mud and stuff. So that's that's nice. Um, here you can see we have this uh, these brass um, these brass loopholes for the for the what's it called the shoelace. And uh, generally, they, I don't know how they will like do with wear and tear, but they feel very solid. These feel like high quality. And even these hooks, I was a little bit uh, paranoid of breaking these, but these hooks feel pretty good. They feel solid. But we'll see, I, make, I will make an updated review. I mean, with normal pressure, I can't bend them, so I don't know if they will snap or not, if I like press as hard as I can. 
but they feel to be... I think I bend it a little bit. They seem to be good quality, by the way. But I'll review it later, if anything, if I have any problems. I mean, you can use a lot of force like this, and uh, they don't show any signs of tearing away or something. And the shoelaces also, they feel good. They feel like high quality shoelaces, so that's nice. Um, about the about the like fit of the shoe, I think it's nice. It's like no problem there. They feel they feel good uh, when walking with them. Of course, when I don't use my thick socks in them, uh, they feel a little bit awkward because I'm using a too big shoe. And about that, why did I buy a bigger shoe than I should have? And that because I didn't really I didn't really trust that these shoes would be able to keep the warmth in. Uh, I live in Sweden, so it can be pretty cold here, you know. Um, and um, if it's pretty cold here, um, I want my sh winter shoes to be warm because you know, Vivo barefoot shoes aren't like cheap. They're one of those brand things, so uh, I wanted to be able to use them actually in the winter. So. I bought a big uh, size too big and uh, when testing these uh, so far this winter I think this was a wise decision because even though these are like thermal insulation and all shit like that you know it's like leather shoes they're not like super thick you know you can feel your foot here it's not like it's the world's best thermal padding or anything like that they are winter shoes sure they are not like especially cold no they're not they're completely fine it's just that they're pretty thin underneath the shoe and if you have thin shoes like this you will leak warmth to the ground and uh, from my experience i think this was a wise ex uh, decision because even you know when there is like uh, around zero minus four degrees or something if you're standing outside in these shoes for too long, you will get cold. If you're walking or moving, I have been so far completely fine, no problem at all. But if I'm standing still, uh, it still gets a little bit cold, uh, even when I have the uh, uh, insulation um, soles and my socks. Um, but um, when just walking in, uh, in the city and stuff like that, no problem at all. I'm even sometimes, you know, a little too warm in these shoes. And uh, somehow I have wool socks, like really thick wool socks. And when you have wool socks, um, my feet get too warm. But because it's wool, it's completely fine. It doesn't feel bad or anything like that, which is very nice. Um, but when in, uh, when out in nature, like standing in mud and stuff like that it can get a little cold so maybe uh, you have to make this decision yourself if it's very cold where you're using maybe you should buy buy a size larger so that you can have wool socks really thick wool socks inside of them um, and about the feel when using these shoes they are you, you can really feel the ground it's a really cool feeling for winter shoes and they're not cold like these shoes they're not cold or anything but they are a thin shoe, like you're thin to the ground and they're not overly thick on the other sides either. So um, they're not like some kind of uh, insane, uh, they're not some kind of insane arctic survival shoe. They are winter shoes, but not the warmest winter shoes. But they're still not cold. I don't want you to get me wrong here. Um, they do protect against the cold but because they are thin they won't protect as much against cold as a say a, a, a winter shoe that has like this extra of a sole too so you keep that in mind so far i have been happy with these shoes i haven't seen any weird tearing or um, like i haven't seen any problems with them so far um, so, so far I'm happy with them. Of course these 100 days hasn't passed yet, so I can still regret the purchase if I need to, but so far no problems. But as I said, if you're going to buy these shoes, consider having 
one size larger and have really thick wool socks if you're going to be in very cold areas. But if you do that, it will be hard to walk in the shoe normally without the socks because they're too big. Uh, but they're comfortable. I think they're really comfortable, so that's really nice. Um, one thing more, uh, they're a little bit tricky to tie, which I found a little bit annoying. Like this part, very nice. This part, very nice. And then it comes like this part, it's kind of reverse and shit. And you have to like remove them over each other there. Then you have to hook them. And then you have to like find where the shoelaces ever are and kind of eh, drag them together. So you can have this little bend. I don't know why this was necessary, but okay. And then you have these normal hooks like that. So, like, if I was in a situation where I had to throw on my winter shoes fast and run, this would be hell, because they're, they're kind of tricky to put on. Yeah. This is a nice little thing though, but yeah. That's that. I hope it helped you. Um, to judge if you think these shoes are good for you or not um, and well I will probably review them again when I've used them all winter and see how they held up so keep tuned for that this is Jimmy Desim Total Nerdy Channel signing out leave a like subscribe